My name is Neil Heisinger, and I'm a program manager with Microsoft. Today I'm going to show you how to report on resource utilization within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Utilization is a simple measure of how productive your workers are. In AX 2012, it is defined as a simple ratio of productive time to total time available. We define productive time using two calculation techniques, billable and efficient. Billable productive time is just that, the reported time measured from project hour transactions that can be billed to the customer. Efficient productive time is a little more complex and may include time spent on non-billable activities such as training. What types of hours are counted as productive time is configurable, and I'll talk a little bit more about that during a demonstration. The other half of the utilization equation is total time available. This is defined by a worker's norm hours. Someone who works a standard U.S. work week would have 40 norm hours per week. You can customize the norm hours component of both the billable and efficiency utilization equations on a per worker basis. Now that you have a little grounding in what utilization is, let's take a quick look at the product, shall we? Today's demo will start by setting up the parameters for utilization, then we will define norm hours for our workers. After that, we will record a timesheet and finally show you some of the reporting that we have out of the box and that you can put on your role center. To set up the parameters for utilization, we start with the AX Rich Client. Under Project Management and Accounting, in the Setup section, we open the Project Management and Accounting Parameters form. In here, we find the Hour Utilization section, and now we can define how utilization is calculated for different project types. There are four possible values for each of these combo boxes. Utilization, burden, not included, and according to line property. Utilization means that time reported against these project types is always considered productive time. Burden means that the time is always considered non-productive time. Some companies create projects to capture non-productive time, while others only capture productive time. According to line property, means that the line properties of the particular hours transaction will determine whether the hours are productive or not. Not included means that the hours are not considered for utilization. For our demonstration today, we're going to set the efficiency rate settings for all project types to utilization. We don't report vacation, sick, and other unproductive time against projects. So we're going to assume that if time was reported, it was productive time. Now that we have defined the numerator of our utilization measurement, we need to define the denominator. If we go back to the project management and accounting area page, we go under timesheets and open the timesheet period types form. We'll do this by setting up the norm hours for our workers. That's done here in the Project Management and Accounting module under Setup, Timesheets, Timesheet Period Types. We'll select the Employee Weekly Update, and then we'll update Worker Periods. Using this form, we'll be able to set the norm hours for all of our workers who report time on a weekly basis. Now, we're in the US, and so a normal work week is 40 hours. So for efficiency time, we have 40 hours here. Now, for billable time, we don't expect 100% of our workers' time to be billable. In fact, we expect 80% of it. So 80% of 40 hours is 35. This will set up all of the workers who are reporting on this period type to have 35 billable hours per week expected, and 40 total hours per week expected. Click OK. At this point, we've set up our efficiency utilization the way we want and defined the norm hours for all of our employees that report their time on a weekly basis, which should include all of our project staff. Now we can enter our time against the projects that we've been working on so that we have some data to show on the dashboard. For those who haven't seen this yet, this is the new employee self-service portal. From here, employees can find everything from expense entry to procurement to time entry. We're just going to enter a timesheet today. We start by clicking on New Timesheet. 
We are logged in today as Alan. Alan is a project manager on a couple projects in California, splitting his time between them, and as we will see, he's also working pretty darn hard. Alan's first project is a Contoso retail in LA. So we add a new line, find the project we're looking for, select an activity, And Alan is the project manager, so he's doing PM work. And he worked four hours a day this week. Alan also works on our project for the Rainbow Hotel. So we create another line here. It's going to look a lot like the first one. in the execution phase, and we're still a project manager, and he also worked four hours a day on this project. On Friday, Alan and his team ran into some issues, forced them to have to come in to work over the weekend, so Alan put in an eight-hour day on Saturday as well. Now that Alan has entered all his time, he can submit tell his manager that he's working hard and that goes off to workflow hopefully Alan's manager will sign off and he'll get paid for his overtime now we can go back to playing the role of a resource manager and take a peek at our employee utilization metrics now I started with the standard project manager role, role center here but I customized it for this role to include metrics that are more focused on resource management rather than project management. As you can see, we have a couple of indicators related to the number of hours that are being reported, both in the budget and in the actuals. And so our actual hours of reporting are up 10%, which is good. If you look down here at the chart, we can see our budgeted and actual utilization numbers. So these are out of 100%. Um, the green line is the budget, which is aspirational, uh, but flat at 100%. And the blue line is the actual utilization, which is creeping upward pretty quickly. If we click here, we'll drill in and see a detailed report to see what our hours, our actual reported hours look like. As you can see, all of our hours are being reported as utilized um, and that we're over budget. In fact, 174 hours have been reported out of an expected 160. Uh, since we only have hours reported for Alan, that means that Alan is being a workaholic. We may want to do something about that. And that's it. In summary, we looked at how to set up our parameters and timesheet periods to allow you to collect utilization data. We then took a quick look at how time is recorded. Finally, we got to see an overview of how that data is surfaced to the resource managers that need it to better manage their teams. I hope you all enjoyed today's presentation and feel like you have a good idea how utilization works in AX 2012. Thanks for your time.